In terms of measuring success, though, if we talk about business metrics and we go a little bit more specific, when you, for your acquisition.com, for instance, when you're looking at investing in companies, what are the metrics for success that you look at? So I made one video on what I consider the perfect business, but unique, expensive, sticky air, right? Managed by somebody who has character and a long-term mindset. And so I can break down each of those, those components, but unique, it's something that no one else is doing or something that's being done in a way that's very difficult to replicate. Expensive, so, and that's relative to the air part, which is very low cost of goods or zero cost of replicating the goods. Expensive, meaning there's lots of gross margin in the business. And sticky, meaning it's habit forming or has some sort of repeat and recurring revenue to make the business more stable. And then the, the component about who is running it, it's run by someone who has strong ethics uh, and has a long-term mindset about how they want to build the company. And so if I have all of those things and the types of businesses, um, that would be, in my opinion, a business that I would look into. Me specifically with an acquisition.com, I focus on education and training companies. It's either code or media. So I like media companies. So companies that license media, companies that are big, like that have big audiences, things like that. I love those types of niche audiences. So like the best plumber, the best mechanic, mm -hmm. the best, you know, whatever, those types of vertical um, education and training businesses. Like we own a publishing business that teaches people how to publish books. We've got, you know, a, a business that's for photographers. We have our gym business. We have the supplement business. We have a software business for agencies. Like, so we have different verticals that we try and go after. Um, we have a certification for, for personal trainers. We have, yeah, there's just, you know, there's a, a wide variety of businesses that we, we participate in. And so either it has to have some sort of code basis, which would be software, or it has to have some sort of media basis, which is licensing typically of some sort. Um, and I like personally education because I think that the education system as a whole is broken. And I think that the demand for skills has never been higher, which is why the rise of the guru empire um, has happened. It's because like these are just supply demand economics, right? Colleges have no value proposition. They're overpriced. They don't deliver. You can get the same jobs before and after college, except you lose four years and you don't work for four years and you lose the money that you go into debt for that you cannot get out of, at least in the United States. You're literally not allowed to bankrupt out of the money. Like you owe them forever. And that's because like, it's so, I feel like it's so ethically wrong that they do this. Like they let an 18 year old kid take $200,000 in debt, but they won't give you a $200,000 loan to start a business. Like it's insane to me. Whereas the prospect that if you, if you spent $200,000 on e-learning and courses and mentorship, pff, guaranteed you would make in four years. And this is what I had to talk to my neighbor, his mother, because she's like, I got him to quit college. And she was so worried. She's like, what are you doing? And I was like, if you give me four years with your son, he will make more than you make. And they live in my neighborhood. So it's a nice neighborhood. <laughs> and, and she was like, they trust me a lot. They, they, they like me. And they're like, all right, like, well, we'll trust you. And he's doing great, you know, and he's probably making 90,000 a year right now. He's 19. And I was like, this is year one. I was like, I got three more years. <laughs> I like, I was like, and, and his net worth is over six figures right now. He's 19 because he saves everything he makes. Right. And so, you know what I mean? Like the game is, is just meant to be played. And, and those are the types of companies that I look for um, that we're, we're trying to invest in. And typically want them over 5 million a year is kind of the, the baseline. So like the biggest company in the portfolio that we have um, does about 30, the smallest is about 8 million.